from the VA. Now, mind you, these are the same people. Zoom right in on that sucker. These are the same people, the VA at Fort Worth, California, who gave Jimi Hendrix his teeth. Well, we know, well, maybe you don't. Maybe someone here is old enough to know what Jimi Hendrix did with his teeth, as far as playing guitar. So, I'm, I'm obviously expecting great things out of this, uh, this race. And, and after three weeks, it's, it's lived up to uh, everything it could have done. But uh, three weeks ago, I, I did a video and I heard somebody holler out from the audience, you got my timer running, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, please, print oh, that thing up. All right, all right. Uh, and I was showing this off, because I had just gone to the VA that day. And it was the voice of Kevin. Y'all know Kevin that he gets around on a crutch. Right. And he, he plays here, he's almost, he's a regular. And uh, he, he screamed out from the audience, wear long underwear. And he was meaning under my brace, because it, it, it shaves your skin. So it's, it's funny how playing at Cafe Hay comes back to you in strange ways. But I, heard, I didn't hear him when he said it, but I heard it on the video. So I was back to the VA, when was it? A week ago, today maybe. And I was wondering why they have signs like this all over. There's signs like this. I mean, there's like one on the front door. There's one by the cash register. There's one by the, 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 the they're just all over. But I, and I'm thinking, well, that's like a, a kind of a little gun and a little knife for guys who are veterans. But then I'm pairing this, I'm pairing seeing these with hearing that, correct me if I'm wrong, nationally 22 veterans a day commit suicide. So I think really what they're saying is, don't do it here. It grosses <laughs> us out. So I don't, and I don't, I'm not carrying one of these. I'm carrying one of these. This, this isn't a knife, this is a tool. Does this look like that? Uh -uh, not to me. Does this look like that? I mean, that's got teeth on it. And some seem to wear it around your neck, Rambo style. I mean, if you're used to having a gun this big, I think they're trying to communicate, don't bring this little shit and don't do it here. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it there. I'm, I'm more worried that somebody else is gonna do it there. And I go, oh God. You know, because 22 a day, that's a lot. So I'm getting weighed in and I said, well, I'll take, I'll take my cell phone out before I weigh in. And I just kind of threw that on the table. And the nurse like freaked the fuck out when she saw this. And I guess I don't blame her. I'll bet somebody took his life there. Like, it's probably gross to even talk about it, but you know, like if you go to gun ranges, there's not a gun range in Tampa where someone has not taken their life. Yeah. It's so sad. So the poor yeah. folks at the VA, Oh yeah, every gun range yeah. in town. Because you can rent a gun. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Um, but um, so anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I I have nothing but the highest compliments for those guys because they're, they're having to deal with that threat all the time. They're afraid of my oh my my knee's really been a bitch and those drugs didn't do shit. I'm ending it right here. I mean, wow, that's got to be happening out there. Maybe they don't talk about it all. I wonder if you can Google stuff like that. What do you think, Cole? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Oh, God, that's, anyway, what stress those people must live under. But moving on to happier things. There was a, a guy who used to live real close to here. His name was Ray Charles. And I heard that this song was banned when it first came out because it was... Dirty. Are there any folks of color here tonight or have they all left? It's, t it's a color check again. We're doing a, we're doing a color check. Any, are there, are there any persons of color? Please raise your hand. Okay, so anyway, I think Ray Charles, is, this song by Ray Charles was banned on the radio because it was the sound of ethnic minorities. It was supposed by the white folks who definitely controlled everything in 1954 when this song came out. Something like that, 54? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this was the sound of um, ethnic minorities having sex. Because they would be, like that. So, 